how to sharpen it later. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome back to the land of the living. How are you feeling? Tired and confused? Well, that's to be expected. Yes, I did find you lying unconscious by your cart. Yes, well, where are you? Who are you? Who am I? All very good questions that I can kind of answer. You are close to Baldur's Gate. I can't tell you the exact place. And I am a thief. <laughs> no, I will not be giving you back your stuff. It is mine now. But I will not harm you, so don't worry. You are safe for now. So, can you tell me what happened? Oh, I see. You were attacked by gnolls. Oh. Do you know what you were attacked by? Mind flares. Around here? Okay, interesting. You have a tadpole in your brain. That's a new one that I have not heard before. You're being serious. Well, I can't say I've heard stranger, but if mind flares have been about, then it would make sense. I've seen it before, you know. Not to be blunt, but to be blunt, you don't have much time, I'm afraid. Yes, one of my partners was also infected with the unlifted. Yes, it only took uh, four days. It was quite horrendous. Vomiting, your skin falling off. Essentially, your body just, you know, not to scare you. Can I get it out? You ask a tall order, you know. Quite brave to ask the person who stole your livelihood to now steal the tadpole from your brain. But. A tadpole might fetch a good price. I can give it a shot. No promises, though. Are you okay with that? Okay, well, let me go grab some equipment. You stay put, my dear. Okay. I got this off your cart. It's quite lovely. I think it'll fetch a good price. on. You just make yourself comfortable, alright darling? It's probably going to hurt. Well, firstly, I have in here diving in. Yes, it probably feels quite good, doesn't it? No, I did not 
steal these from your god. I stole these from a wizard. I'm not a modern day Robin Hood, I can guarantee you that. I do not steal from the rich and give to the poor. I steal from the rich and the poor and give to me. Okay. Why don't we start out with a silver spoon? It's quite beautiful, isn't it? Yes, I did steal this from your cart, so you probably recognize it. that we could kind of move the eyeball over and just kind of, you know, maybe the tadpole will see the silver and become attracted to it. I know I'm attracted to silver. So, I'm going to get right in close, okay dear? You don't mind? I hope you don't. Open your eye for me. There you go. And what beautiful eyes you have. I'm just going to... Yes, it hurts. Even with the enchanted stone. How curious. I guess that wizard isn't all that they were cracked up to be, were they? Something's coming out, but I don't know if it's a tadpole per se. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no tadpole, but this was only the first tool that I brought. I got plenty more. I should probably clean the spoon off though before I tried to barter with it. You see, I stole this from the goblin camp, but to be fair, they probably stole it from some other camp, so it's just kind of a, a line, isn't it? They steal, I steal, they probably steal from me again, I probably kill them and then steal from them. Would you like me to tell you what to do first? My apologies, sweetie. As you can see, it's this beautiful carved metal with a gem on top. Seems kind of like a wand, doesn't it? But, ta da! It's a spoon again. Yes, it's quite lovely. I have taken a shiny to it. A bit small though, so it might be more for a gnome, you know. But this gem is quite sharp at the top, and I figured I could kind of dig in, you know, something along those lines. So open wide. That's doing something. Let me just... Yes. You're doing good. Okay. Oh! I see. 
the tadpole. Oh, you see the tadpole. Oh, this is working marvelously. I do want that tadpole. Yes. Okay, okay. It's not quite long enough, but I do see it. You are going to give me the tadpole, aren't you? I don't know why you would have any need for it. Well, why do I have a need for it? Well, gold? Or maybe I could raise it. I could have my own little mind flare baby. Wouldn't that be fun? I'm going to get a bit more personal with it, okay? Yes, I have these beautiful fingernails. Well, fingernail armor, perhaps. Maybe if I get personal, it will come to think of me as its mother. It'll come to me. So I'm just going to kind of... Okay. Yes, these are quite sharp. I can already tell it loves me. Am I growing an attachment to it already? Don't name it. Once you name something, you can't not love it. around your eye. Yes. Would you like to smell it? Yes. Take a big smell. Yes, it's lavender scented. Again. Perfect. Maybe if I rub it around the socket, the tadpole will smell it and want to come out, you know? It's a good idea. Would you like a little roll on your wrist? Yeah. Other one. There you go, darling. Just kind of... It's almost like we're friends, isn't it? I don't have many friends. Yeah, I'm not sure why either. Wouldn't you know it? Another enchanted idol. Yes, this tip. It looks like a laser. You can't see it. Just kind of 
shine it at the wall and the nose they kind of chase it maybe the tadpole is similar it might chase the laser shall we give it a try yes it doesn't burn but you will feel a bit of a sizzle your skin might kind of you know there'll be a there'll be a bit of a charring effect but your eye already looks you know so. yeah look you can kind of like see through it maybe not can you see me Don't feel well. I can tell you that it does not chase lasers like a null, but that just means it's intelligent. I have one other thing to try on you, okay? No, this one might be the most simple, quite prehistoric, really. But at the end of the day, we don't need fancy tools. Now, have you by chance ever met a man named Volo? Well, let me tell you about him very quickly. Volo is a genius. Yes. He is quite the man. He's a fantastic storyteller. He's also quite inept with the, uh, the tool, yes, a sort of stick-like tool. Yes. Have you ever heard of a lobotomy? Yes, well, maybe don't look it up, but... Volo told me everything I know. can be the last tool that we try. It's a sort of hook. So I'll just lean you back and I will hook the tadpole and, yes, and just pull it out. Yes, yeah, shall we give it a go? Here. I'll spray some water on it. stink doesn't it okay okay are you ready darling good then I do see
baby tadpole. Congratulations. How do you feel? Let me just put this in here so it doesn't wriggle away. We are proud parents, aren't we? Very good. How are you feeling? Yes, I'm afraid you are completely blind in that eye now. But do not fear. Stay right here. I have a gift for you. Okay, dear, I am back. And the gift that I have brought to you is... Ta-da! Yes, they're quite cute, aren't they? Well, they came from your cart, so I will allow you to have them back. Yes, I was trying to find you an eyeball, it's true. Volo usually keeps some spurs around the place, but it seems he took them all. I'm not quite sure why. He might be out running around saving some other tadpoles. He usually does do that, he's quite generous. But, just in here. They're quite cute, aren't they? And whenever you wear them, it's kind of like a portal, you see? It's like there's multiple of me. I guess they're quite interesting little gadgets, aren't they? They're so silly. Though they do mess up your fringe, though. So, shall I put them on you? There you go. Oh, you look dashing. Really, you do. you would like, you can stay here for a little bit and kind of recoup, get used to your new life of one eye. Yes. Maybe, maybe do some exercising, I don't know. Something to get the blood pumping. And, well, this will probably be the last time you ever see me, hopefully. Well, that is, unless you crash another cart full of goodies, then you may see me again. But, I cannot guarantee that I won't kill you next time, so maybe, maybe don't crash your cart, okay? Yes. Well then, dear, I hope you have a wonderful life. I hope you enjoy those beautiful little things, you know? Enjoy those, yes. And, um, 